do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. At So Hope, we listen and observe and work to meet the needs of our community. We know that women are the foundation of Guatemalan families and their health needs to be top priority. The need for prenatal care is urgent. Many midwives in Guatemala are not able to take blood pressure readings and there is no access to ultrasound machines unless you live in a city. In 2022, we will expand our prenatal care to reach women who do not have the means to come to our clinic. Our relationship with the Guatemalan Ministry of Health continues to grow, allowing us to screen more women in rural areas for cervical cancer. In the first two months of 2022, we have already seen almost 1,000 patients. Through our agriculture programs, women gain the tools they need to feed themselves, support their families, and develop work ethic. So Hope staff work with families to develop vegetable gardens, raise poultry for meat and eggs, and grow fruit trees at their homes. Over 100 families have been supported in this effort, and the need continues to grow. One of the most exciting times at So Hope happened just two weeks ago. Hello everyone, uh, this is a big day. We're here to uh, turn on the lights in the uh, new, new school. Um, everything in the four classrooms is wired and hopefully everything will work. It won't be like the uh, Christmas vacation movie. However, uh, I just want to give some credit to Tim Wan, Tim Kuhn, who spent a lot of time with Julio, Myra's son, doing the initial uh, wiring of all the outlets and everything. You can see there's a lot of outlets and things around. And then uh, Tim Tu and Ephraim and myself uh, came in here this time and finished up connecting sockets and lights and everything else. Um, so it's been, a, uh, it's been a pleasure to do this and we thank you all for helping us to put it together. Uh, this is Sainer, uh, our head teacher, uno, numero uno. Uh, and Sainer is gonna say a few. Eh, adios gracias primeramente a Dr. Ana que por ser la fundadora de, de esta institución que sin duda alguna esto no fuera posible si ella no estuviera al frente de esta grata institución. Muchísimas gracias por el, el trabajo que se ha estado realizando. Eh, actualmente pues se ha estado trabajando en lo que es las instalaciones de la energía eléctrica para que nuestros estudiantes puedan eh, desempeñarse en sus clases de matemática, lectura en nuestras instalaciones. Gracias. Our education program is a half-day program designed as a supplement to the public education system. Our students, most of whom live in homes with no electricity, have access to programs such as Khan Academy and Raz Kids, and they receive personalized instruction from our certified teachers. We are currently working to become recognized as an independent Guatemalan school, which will allow us to offer a full Guatemalan curriculum to our students. Through the generous support of our community, we have been able to build a beautiful new building that holds 130 students. These students are sponsored by generous supporters from all over the world. As demand for our education program continues to grow, so does the need for student sponsorships. By sponsoring a student, you are giving them the tools they need to be able to self-determine their futures. So Hope is an institution fundamental for the life of the de muchos niños de acá de Santa Ana Petén porque gracias a ellos se han formado profesionales y un claro ejemplo es mi persona. Actualmente formo parte de los docentes de acá de Soho. Igual quiero darle las gracias a doctora Ana Ruth porque junto con mis patrocinadores 
ellos pusieron su confianza en mí para que yo formara parte de los docentes de SHOP. Es muy diferente porque acá ayudamos a los niños con sus deficiencias, las vamos tratando desde el inicio e ir superándolas y superándolas hasta que ellos estén al nivel de sus demás compañeros. Considero que sí, porque yo soy un claro ejemplo de eso. Yo asistí aquí y gracias a la ayuda que ustedes me brindaron, mis patrocinadores, yo ahora soy profesional y regresé nuevamente, ya no como alumna, sino a trabajar como docente. Considero que eso pues, es fundamental para formar profesionales.